Good evening. My name is Susan Hedman. I'm the Regional Administrator for Region 5 of the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Region 5 is the region that includes the six Midwestern states that include Michigan. And I'm here tonight to bring you up to date on the events of the last week, along with several other governmental agencies who are here on the stage with me. And I want to thank you all very much for coming. Um, what we are going to do is have a, a, an update on the current situation. And then we are going to adjourn to the air-conditioned space outside of the gymnasium and to the tent outside and take your questions and talk with you individually. So this will be a very brief presentation, we hope. Uh, we hope it doesn't get too hot in here. Um, and we'll try to get through this material as, as quickly as possible. I'd like to start by sharing with you an email message that I received a week ago. About the middle of the day last Monday, I was just um, beginning a senior staff meeting at the EPA Region 5 office in Chicago. And I received an email that was entitled Notification, Emergency Response Notification. It said, a pipeline release totaling an estimated 819,000 gallons has been reported in Marshall, Calhoun County, Michigan. The cause of the release is yet unknown. I have see, received updates all week. We are here as the Environmental Protection Agency and the other federal, state, county, and local agencies that have been working on this bill to provide you with an update. I'm joined tonight by representatives of the Fish and Wildlife, um, the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and Environment, the Calhoun County Public Health Department, the National Transportation Safety Board, and the Office of Pipeline Safety. I'm going to start by making a brief presentation, um, and then uh, each of those agencies are going to make a presentation. Now, bear in mind that the agencies who are up here today are only a small representation of those who have been working on this bill during the past week. Um, I'd like to actually thank some of the other agencies who are not on the stage, um, especially the Mich Michigan State Police Emergency Management Division, the Calhoun, Kalamazoo, and Allegan County Sheriff's Department, and other county agencies that have been helping, the City of Marshall, um, and I believe that Mayor Smith is here tonight, and some members of the Town Council. Uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, postponing the uh, town council meeting to make this uh, meeting possible. would also like to thank the city of Battle Creek and the Huron Potawatomi. There have also been many, many uh, organizations that have helped us, including the American Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and many of the people who are here in this room as, other, as well as other people in the community. And I, I extend to you now my sincere thanks for all of your help and for your patience. So as I said about a week ago, uh, as all of you know, a spill was reported uh, at the Embridge pipeline just outside of Marshall. This is a picture of the pipe that breached and leaked the oil. And here's another picture. As you can see, at the, at, the, at, the, at the site of the leak, there was pure oil all over the ground almost immediately. That oil leaked into Talmadge Creek. And this is what it looked like from the air on day one. As you can see, in Talmadge Creek, it's, it's basically running um, oil. Thank you. 
go ahead. Talmadge Creek, as you well know, um, there's a confluence of Talmadge Creek with the Kalamazoo River. This photograph was taken um, very soon after the spill, but um, with enough time elapsed that we were able to get some initial um, installation of booms to hold back the oil. Um, but as you can see, the oil water mixture is mostly oil. As we move down the river on the first day of the spill, you can see that the upper reaches of the, the Kalamazoo River nearest to the spill point were very heavily oiled. Um, and we began placing boom to, be, to contain the oil to catch as much as possible from going downstream. But as you also know, for those of you who were able to get out and see the river, oil did continue downstream. This is a picture of the Ceresco Dam on day one. And as you can see, there is a great deal of oil going over the river. And uh, as many of you have, have by now noted, oil and water don't mix. And so the oil is very visible as a top layer on the water.